Hello, welcome back to the series where we win European trophies because we, yeah, if you didn't know, check out last episode. If you missed the premiere, if you missed anything, you won't have missed it. Surely, I'm recording straight after I've won it, I'm not going to lie to you, but it probably, I've premiered it, I know that for a fact. It's hopefully gone down well. You can't have missed it. Go and watch it if you have. I'll wait. Well, I'll wait the 20 odd minutes it is. Come on, come back. You're back? Right. So we're about to become um, quite like Chelsea FC and, and have a loan army because more youth players are wanting to join the team and they're all going out on loan. So that's what's going to happen this year. We're going to have about 20 kids on loan like Chelsea. But that will be revealed in a second. I'm obviously here with the awards and the squad report for season four before we go into the final season of season five. So let's have a look at those youth players. Here we are then, with another three players that want to be promoted. That's seven in the last, like, three days, because we had four in the last episode. So, first one is Jesse Glover, then it is Arthur Metcalf, and then finally Patrice Meyer. So we'll go and get those boys up now. Jesse Glover, C CDM has, to be fair, been in the Youth Academy for, like, two years. He's nearly 55 rated now. He is 54 at the moment. 76 to 82 potential isn't bad. We shall promote him as he's asking for it. Who's next? Arthur Metcalf, CM, 17, 74 to 80 potential, 54 rated. Not great. I wonder how he'll do on loan. Promote him. And then Patrice Meyer, 55 overall, 16 years old, potential 76 to 82. Decent. He's only just gone up to 55 overall, by the way. I think actually he'd do quite well on loan. So we'll promote him again. And I'll just show you what's left of my youth academy i had this full full and we have now got five players in the academy unbelievable i can't believe his potential is still so high with his rating so low but marco van helden is uh looking good so is zachary born this is our final season if they're not going to be an absolute superstar it doesn't look like they're going to get anything from it but hey, you never know. Check out the youth sheet as well to see where everyone is, how everyone's doing and how everyone has done. Because I think it's a really good way of checking that as well and seeing how far people have like progressed and stuff. So do give, give that a look. But now we will move into the awards, which is really what we're all here for. So then here we are with the awards and the first one, as it always does, is most appearances, which goes to Bradley Bryan, who has gone up to 88 overall this year. 53 appearances there it is. Couldn't don't know why I struggled with that. I know it's 53 appearances. Beats in Banzu by one. So the two of them were mainstays in the in the team this year. He played in everything we played in. Overall, a 7.7 rating over the course of 53 appearances. Is unbelievable and as you can see there 14 goals 23 assists fantastic i'm rambling about the squad report stuff so we'll get back to that the next award goes for golden boot which i mean we know is going to go to harry cornick but can you see the amount of goals this man scored 58 in 46 games with 21 assists 42 goals in the premier league in 32 games 14 goals in the europa league in 11 games unbelievable return from that man he's so good and then he scored twice in the community shield as well actually didn't manage to score in the fa cup but i think i don't think he got to play because we didn't play far enough really into it but you know what i mean again an unbelievable season from him there's no point talking about it i'll talk more about it in the squad report next up we have got the assist king and that does go to Alex Adams, who's gone up 7 this year to an 82 rated. He got 22 assists in the Premier League, along with his 23 goals. He got 31 assists overall in 48 games, but also scored 31 goals. I knew this kid was worthy, right, worthy of that number 10 that I gave him at the start of the season. He's only 19, only 19, and he's banging in the goals as much as he is. It's unbelievable. A sure starter at Cam now. He's absolutely fantastic at setting him up and putting them in which is just what i need and next up we will be going to most improved as you can see as a player once again who is not here it is benjamin okoye and look at that a plus 16 on that obviously the appearances and stuff it's not saying anything because he's on loan and i'm not even going to attempt to say the name of that club i'll let you read it there but he's gone up 16 since he was he was a 58 when he left us to go there so he was so that's eight from here and eight there it's always that's so weird he's done really well i'm really pleased with that and to get him back next year now him 
Nombe Kornig are going to be great up top. And I'm really excited to see how he does in the team at 65 rate. I haven't played with him since he was 58 and he bagged in the goals then. So at 65, could be very, very good. And the next award we are going to have is our Young Player of the Season. And this one will surprise you because I'm going to give it to Fran Pineda. Goalkeepers don't get enough recognition. And you've heard it here first, especially in career mode. They don't get enough recognition. I think at 19, he's been brilliant. Stats wise, maybe not enough clean sheets, but the save ratio, and I'd see that his average rating that is six, it doesn't equate to how good I think he was when he played in 23 games. To be honest, as a promoted, I never really get good promoted youth players, right? But he is one, and I think a goalkeeper's that is, sorry, players, yes, goalkeepers, I don't. And he's one I think's really done well. Of course, I could have given it to Adams. I could have given it to Okoye. I could have given it to Fabri. I could have given it to Bradley Bryan, Sabali, Zokari, Arai, Pan when he was promoted. There's so many. But I think Pineda, as a keeper, has done very, very well. And definitely, maybe, uh, I don't know, might change his number. We'll see. I do like 30 for Pineda. I don't know why. But anyway, young player of the season goes to Fran Pineda, which means that the only one left is, of course, player of the season and that goes to our club captain Bradley Bryan and of course it does to lead the team at 21 years old right is enough of a big thing as it is but then to lead that team to second in the Premier League and only three points off the top in a obviously a low pointed Premier League season but we'll try and we'll try and get one step further but also to a Europa League final and win what more can you ask from a young captain? All of the qualities to lead the team. All of the qualities to be the best CDM around. He's already 88 rated. He's only 21 years old. He's going to get better next year. He'll break 90s easily. Break 90s. And I can't wait for it. He is going to have a great season next year. Got, oh, scored 14 goals this year. 10 in the Premier League. I reckon he can do that, if not double it, from ZDM. Because I reckon we'll be pushing forward next year. You saw my transfers at the end of the Premier League season. They're the ones I'm hoping to go for. Let's see if we... I hope we do them. But yeah, that's the end of the awards. Let's get into the squad report. We'll start at the top then with Mr. Neil Etheridge. Decent, to be fair. Had a decent season. I'm pretty happy with him. And he was a good signing to get us into the Premier League and keep us up here. I'm very pleased with him. But at 34, he's retiring. So that means I'd only have Slugo, who hasn't played, and then Pineda. So I'm going to have to sign a keeper. Quite frankly, that just, that's just the face of it. I'm going to have to sign a keeper. So I'm looking at uh, Elian Melier, as I said. Hopefully I can bring him in. Collins at left back. Got himself a couple of goals, which is very good. Galloway only played once. Sabali only got himself one assist. But I'll say with the fullbacks, I have had them set to stay back while attacking because I needed it. But it's really helped. It's pushed us from 12th to 2nd this year. So I'm hoping it goes from 2nd to 1st next year. Uh, Carter Vickers was fantastic. He's actually dropped to 78 rated today. was 79, but got himself injured. Ben White, a great acquisition. Arai looks like he's going to be a good centre-back alongside Zakari. 67 rated Zakari, 58 rated Arai. Two young players that I'm going to be playing a lot next season. Uh, Maddie Pearson, again, didn't play much. Played good when you needed. Lockyer getting a crucial goal in the Europa League final means he'll be sticking around. But I think Pearson will be leaving. Sonny Bradley will be sticking around as, as their expertise that I need. Kiyoso will probably be my backup right back unless one of uh, Kimura or Clouchy doesn't get a loan. Then I'll give them a go, but they're both going to be going up for loan. James Bree will be my starting right back. 79, nearly cracking that 80, and I'm hoping he does it next year. Jutsby Hall with five assists, no goals this season, probably not great, but I'm happy with five assists from him. But then Lembit Pan has gone up, as you can see, 14 overall. 63 rated, just pipped to the post by Okoye, but played five games, one goal, four assists. Looks very, very good. Probably going to be alongside and Panzu in my second team when I sign, hopefully Gwen Doozy, but I have, of course, got other options on the bench or on the list if I need them. These are the lads that got promoted just now. Glover and Ivan Ash will be getting loans. Glover has stayed in the Youth Academy for so long, he deserves a chance on loan. He'll get a chance first, to be fair, in the preseason tournament. Bradley Bryan, what else can I say about the club captain? Going forward, I just hope for even more next year. Even more. I actually missed Elias Contos. Um, on my list of people that was to be promoted when I did it at the start, but he's also been promoted. His potential is, again, around the same as the rest of the lads, 76 to 82. Again, he'll probably get a loan along with Metcalf uh, and 
um, Tefu, I think, is on a deal to be sold. Morel, very good backups. Cam, don't need anyone else. It's definitely not going to be Ishiara at 52 rated. He'll be looking for a loan. As will Patrice Maya, who's up to a 55, which is pretty good. Castro, I'm still looking for a loan from this man. Played well in the... We came on, what, and got an assist in Europa League in one game when I was stuck. I'm happy with it. Louis has gone up an 8 while out on loan at Vadas. Again, looking for another. Alex Adams is, of course, my starting cam. The man's an absolute legend. George Moncour is still here. I'll probably keep him around just in case I need an extra player at some point. Oliveira out on loan. Not gone up very well at all. I'm not looking. It's not looking promising for him. Do check his potential and everyone else's potential, of course, in the youth sheet. Emmanuel Fabri had the season I was looking for. 10 goals, 10 assists in the amount of games. 5 and 5 in the Premier League. Maybe if he can just push on just a little bit more next season. I'll be very excited, but 74 rated now. I love I love Fabry. And then we've got uh, Chong Hyun Rim. He's stuck around to himself as well in the Youth Academy for quite a while, so I'm hoping a loan pushes him up and we can just see where everyone finishes off, you know. Hopefully he gets himself a good loan. Luwalawa is retiring. What a legend of the scene. <laughs> Kazenga Luwalawa, 60 overall. Now he's gone down 6 this year. Hasn't played a game, but what a legend. Jason Knight. Now this is someone I wanted to speak about. If we'd had him in the Leicester game, I think he might have made the difference. So the injury probably lost us the Premier League title because this was the season I was looking for from him. 16 goals, 14 assists. Absolutely brilliant. So 87 rated. He is the player that I'm so happy has done really well. I'm really, really liking him. And then Somerville on his other side has done just as well, if you ask me. Six, six goals, 16 assists. So he needs to get scoring a bit more. But when he does... Everything will be happy and we'll be going flying because his goals, oh, his assists, sorry, are just where we want them. So he just needs to score a bit more. Velasco now, again, as a backup, I was struggling with him and I nearly sold him, right? But then he impressed me in pre season. So I've kept him and he's done okay. He's done all right. Seven goals, four assists. I'll take it. I'll take it. Kerrigan out on loan up six. Not bad. We'll look for another one for him. Tavares only up two on the loan. So he'll be definitely looking for another one. Collins, the legend that he is, is retiring as well. Number 19, so um, FC Evil Genius. If you're looking for a ride to take the number 19, he will. You're welcome. And then Benjamin Okoye up 16, 65 rated. I love this man. I'm looking. I'm actually looking to just use him so much in preseason. Use him in the cups and absolutely boss some goals out with him because he'll be mega, mega. Harry Cornick. 58 goals, I can't say much about him, man. He's too good. He's too good. I love him. Harry Cornick, what a man. And then we've got Sam Nombe, right? 71 overall now. Fantastic. 18 games in the Prem, 14 goals, 3 assists. Fantastic. 27 games overall, 23 goals, 6 assists. Unbelievable. He's had a great season. And the problem is with Okoye is that he's got to get out. He's got to get Nombe's place. And Nombe is doing very, very well. So I don't know if he'll get it, but... That is, of course, the end of the score report. As If you missed it, which you surely haven't, this is where we finished in the league. I'll leave you looking at this if it loads, which it does. That's how we finished. We want top spot next year, and we've got Champions League football, and we want to win that as well because it's our final season. That's the end of season four, then. If you've seen my Twitter, you've seen the new home kit. As I said, new Nike sponsorship. 100 mil every year for three seasons. So because we're only doing one, less, one last season... Only one a boost of 100 million, shall we say, from that Nike deal. But look where we are. We're a second team, second place team in the Premier League. We just won the Europa League. We can't be running Umbro forever. It's time for Nike to take over. But now, that is all to come in Season 5. I'm excited for it, and I hope you are too. If you haven't left a like, please do. If you haven't subscribed, again, please do. I'm still looking for hopefully 1k this year. That would be a dream. But I will see you all in the next one. Thank you.